Welcome to our mobile class. This is Class Online School. In Class Online School, we bring learning to your home. We want you to learn better. We want you to learn everywhere. That's why we created this channel for you. We run the Nigerian curriculum where we teach you major subjects that are taught in your school system. We have other corners in this channel that will help to build your tutu to you. We have our counseling section, we have our sex education section, and we have our business sections. All of these is to help you build your tutu to you. We don't just want you to develop academically, we want you to develop in every aspect of your life and want you to succeed. Welcome to the class. Are you a parent? Are you a student? Are you a guardian? This class will help all of us. So please follow along. If you've not subscribed, try as much as possible to subscribe. If you're a returning subscriber, I appreciate you. If you give us a thumbs up, it will help the algorithm to be able to pick most of our videos. Share the video if you want others to learn more about it. Thank you for being here. Commerce is the class and we're going to discuss marketing, introduction to marketing. You know that in business, if you don't market your product properly, you might not sell. A good product can be hidden somewhere, but, be, but because there is no proper marketing, it might not survive the test of time. And so for your product to survive the test of time and to penetrate into the market, for you to make profit, you need to market rigorously in order for people to know about it. And so we're going to talk about marketing in your business. Why is it important? What are the functions to it? Uh, functions of it to your business? Try to relate it to your product if you're a business owner. Try to remember it if you're a student wanting to pass exam. Let's see it as a business person and as a student. Marketing, what does it mean? Marketing means the performance of business activities that direct the flow of goods and services from producer to consumer in order to satisfy consumers um, in order to satisfy consumers and accomplish the company's objective. Consumers need to be satisfied. Organizational objective needs to be accomplished. And what is organizational objective? To make profit. That's number one reason. To satisfy customers. That's number two reason. To compete effectively among other competitors. That's number three reason. To have a standard goods that will stand the test of time. That's number four reason. You can go on and on, right? And then marketing helps you to penetrate. Marketing helps you to bring the goods to the right audience. Marketing helps you to bring in more productivity and more profitability because you will be able to bring the product to the right audience that will make them to demand the product. That's marketing for you. Remember, we have three objectives for the class. What is the meaning of marketing? That is what I've just been explaining. Then the next one is, why is marketing important? to your business, to my business, to our business. And what are the functions of marketing? Let's dive into the first, uh, the second objective. Hope you understand the first objective. Right, now let's go to the second objective that has to do with the importance of marketing. But please bear in mind what marketing is, what we've explained. Let me go through it once more. Marketing means the performance of business activities that directs the flow of goods and services from producers to consumer in order to satisfy consumers and help to accomplish the company's objective. Company have objective, consumers have needs, all of them have to come together in order for proper marketing to have taken place. All right, importance. What are the importance of marketing? Now let's look at a number of importance to marketing. One, bring buyers and sellers together. Did you agree? Yes. Somebody come to introduce a product to you. You see this product, it can do this, it can do this, it can do that. I want to market this marker now. And I tell you, this is a marker. It's a refillable marker. It stands the test of time. It doesn't dry even if it is open. Um, you have a ready hand ink on ground. You can refill at any time. So don't give me conviction. Market this marker for me. 
I was not using this brand and at the end of the day I look at it and I say I want to give it a try. Have you not brought buyers to buy your product? Yes. Brings buyers and sellers together. So when you market for me and I like it, two of us come into business. Alright, we have reduced wastage. If you don't market, if it's a raw product, a raw material, it will waste. You have baskets of tomatoes in your warehouse. And you are waiting for buyers to come meet you in your warehouse. It will waste. So you have to go out there, look for buyers to buy it and reduce the wastage level. Marketing help you to have less wasted because many persons will be aware of what you produce. Employment opportunity will have marketers. The number of young persons out there who market for banks is a source of employment for them. That's what they are paid for. And so they bring customers to the banks or bring customers to any company that have employed them to go look for customers for them. So it becomes a source of employment for these marketers. In the university, we have courses like marketing. That's what they do. Strategies, ways you can market your product very well. If you're a good marketer, you are employable. You are employable. This information about the product. It is you who come to market to me that will tell me about your product and what I stand to benefit and how it can help me in my business, in my daily life, to improve my standard of living, to improve my health, to improve my productivity. You will have to tell me why will I buy that product? Marketing. Okay, and then the third one, create consumer satisfaction helps you to let the consumer know that this product you want to buy will satisfy you and you go back to the manufacturer the marketing team gets information from the consumer telling them what will satisfy the consumer and they are going to meet the needs of the consumer that is some of the importance i have up to 10 importance but i discussed five i want you to go below the comment box and tell me more importance of um marketing all right Bring buyers and sellers together, reduce wastage, employment opportunity, give information about a product, create consumer satisfaction. I've explained it. Now let's look at the functions of marketing. Yeah. But we are done with the first two objectives, the meaning of marketing, the importance of marketing. Now let's look at the functions. The functions of marketing. Bearing risk. The marketer know that there is risk involving the products is not sold out because most of these products have expiration dates and so they carry they bear the risk of making sure that the products have to be sold and the organizational objective have to be met and so they sometimes help in ensuring these products they ensure it for eventualities they go out there and do rigorous marketing in order to sell it off to reduce risk. So they are risk bearer. They are housing and storage. Another function of marketing is to store this product in order to take it to consumers. Make it ready so that any time the consumer need this product, you've gone out to source for customer uh, to, for customers to get your product and you don't have the product on hand. How do you meet their needs? So there is need for their housing and them. And, um, uh, um, storage in order for you to be able to take it immediately the customer said let me try out your product go to the warehouse go to the storage house carry it give it to them let them try it and they come for a return marketing information and research they go out there get to the consumers they are in close proximity with the consumers mind you because they go out there to talk to this consumer the consumer tell them what they want. The consumer tell them the way they should improve. The consumer tell them what happens with the alternative product. The consumer tell them what is effective about their product. The consumer tell them how they are going to improve quality. The consumer tell them other things they are going to do to increase productivity or give them alternative product or complementary product. You go back to the research team and tell them this is what the consumer wants. And then the research team carry out their research, go back to the producers, tell them what they have to produce, and the marketers go back to the market. Functions of marketing. I love marketing so much because that's the engine of your sales. If you're not a good marketer, you can't sell. 
So as a marketer out there, as a business person out there, as a student out there, thinking of improving later on in life, you need it. Trans uh, pricing. You know, marketers go out there and they see alternative products to their product and how they are sold. They can tell you whether the price is on the price or overpriced. They help you to standard up price. They help you to increase or lower price. They help you to reduce weight in order for you to meet the price need of the people or whatever would help the price you put in or attach to the products to sell better. So they help pricing. Transportation. Marketers move themselves from one place to another. And so they need transportation to move and they need transportation to take goods to consumers. You see it. So these are functions of marketing. I take five, two, I have up to ten. Tell me more below the comment box. I want this class to be interactive as much as possible. It is not a monologue class, just me talking. It's a dialogue class. A dialogue between you and I. Let's dialogue below the comment box. Tell me what you think. Tell me other functions you've read about. Tell me other functions you've been carrying out as a marketer. And how do you think you can improve or get more customers for your product? It's an exercise. Let's go do it. So we've been able to cover the three objectives for our class for today. The meaning of marketing, importance of marketing, and functions of marketing. It's a practical course you can apply to your business. It's a practical cl uh, class you can apply to your uh, selves and then to improve your business. Every business person goes to business for profitability. Marketing is one of those functions that helps you to run a successful business. We will take another part of this class in our next class. Thank you for being part of our class. Please follow along. Be part of all our corners, sex education, counseling corner, um, business corner, and then your normal school system. We want you to learn everywhere. Watch and re-watch, understand, ask your question below. Let's see how we can um, answer your question. It's my pleasure being here. I want you to come along next time. Subscribe if you've not subscribed. Share the video. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you. Thumbs up to you. Thank you for being part of our class. I'll see you in the next one.